Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature Your Door. I'm here in Florida near Tampa at an amazing barrier island called Honeymoon Beach State Park. And I am just absorbed into the fascinating ecology and adaptations of this particular and unique kind of pine flat forest that you can find here on the islands. There is so much wildlife and birds and reptiles and various plants. But today's episode is gonna be on this plant behind me here. It's called Love Vine. It's called Devil's Gut. It's also called Dotter. And it strangles and literally sucks the life out of plants that it grows on. Stay tuned and I'll explain the fascinating story and its amazing adaptations of this 100% obligate parasitic plant. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So I'm here on Honeymoon Beach State Park, Barrier Island in this amazing pine flatwoods that's dominated by slash pine and the sable palm. The scientific name of this particular devil's gut love vine or dotter, depending on what you want to call it, is Cassitha filiformis. Cassitha filiformis. And it's a member of the laurel family. This is a different species, in fact, a different genus than the dotter that I know from the Appalachian Mountains. And here in this tropical area, it's very, very prolific. So the Appalachian Mountain Dotter is a descendant of morning glory. This Cuscuta pentagona and one of another 20 species of this particular genus can have a very major negative effect on agriculture, growing on and consuming alfalfa, flax, clover, potatoes, and other agricultural products. So the Appalachian dotter is actually related to morning glories, while this species, or this genus, Cassitha, is in the laurel fam. So this is an example of co-evolution, where different species growing in different places evolved into the same kind of biology and place in the ecosystem. So this plant is a twining vine meaning it twines and spins around the stems. And here it has gotten so prolific, it's just hanging everywhere. And here's a good example here of seeing how it twines and wraps around the stem of a plant. This plant does very little photosynthesis. Here it's a light green. There's probably a little bit of chlorophyll here, but it will generally turn to an orange kind of yellow and it gets its nutrition by piercing the stem of plants like it's doing right here and it has teeth like historia that penetrate the plant and take from the plant water nutrients and carbohydrates you can see that this is a plant but it has no leaves and no roots it's completely epiphytic and parasitic on its host plants. The end result will be seeds like these, and these seeds will fall to the ground, and when they do, and when the conditions are right, and they begin to sprout, they have about seven days to attach on to a living plant. If it doesn't attach in those seven days, the seed will die and it's done because it doesn't do its own photosynthesis and it doesn't have a root. There's so many fascinating plants here on Honeymoon Island. This is just one of them. And remember, this one is completely parasitic. It sucks the life out of other plants. It takes their water, nutrients, and carbohydrates from them so it can grow on its own. And it can really be kind of, oh, I can't say invasive, because it's a native plant, so I'll say it can be very aggressive. 
So check out my Florida playlist if you're interested in the, some of these fascinating adaptations and want to learn more about the plants and animals that are here. And remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So check out my Florida playlist, and thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.